my dear child everything within and around you is getting better every single day and you cut out the bad habits you surrounded yourself with better people you choose inner healing and now everything externally is a mirror to this upgraded inner reality divine blessings are flowing into your life as a result of your dedication to improving the lives of others so once you raise your frequency everyone else around you benefits the inner works count so you choose the difficult work day in and day out to become a better version of yourself So you don't wish it was easy you accept that source is providing you with the challenges your soul needs to reach a higher level of expression and awareness So you come to this earth school to upgrade your spirit and to put your soul to the ultimate test So celebrate whatever life throws your way because it is a divine miracle in the form of life experience. So my child know that things may be really hard for you right now and you may not see how it is going to even happen so hold on. God can do more in a second than we can do in an entire lifetime. Everything will work out. Your current situation is leading you to a blessing and nothing is a mistake. So don't give up. God is with you. No matter what you are going through, God still has the same good plan for you right now. that he had the moment you were born so when the enemy attacked you god know you would be restored hold on god is fighting for you so you are god's masterpiece you are created by god for a specific amazing purpose So he loves you more than you imagine and you may not always feel that way there will be times when hard days or painful memories cause you to question your worth but when your heart is full of god's word the truth about who you are in him will become so real that you will be able to override those doubts So God will transform your entire outlook on life. Joy will come pouring in and your peace will become unshakable. Your relationships will grow healthier and I am believing that as you dive into what he says about who he created you to be. You will begin to see breakthrough in every area of your life so be intentional about getting god's word in you this week start to rewire the way you see yourself by reading and speaking out the truth of god's word so my child know that As you get older you realize that you are not always right and there are so many things you could have handled better So many situations where you could have been kinder not every choice was the right one and not every reaction was ideal So now all you can really do is forgive yourself 
and let your mistakes make you a better person. So this is personal evolution. Release the weight of self-judgment and allow the warmth of self-compassion to blossom. Trust in the divine order and believe that what is meant for you, you will find its way to you. Instead of worrying about how just relax and be in a deserving state to receive. Start matching the frequency of the vibration you want to attract. Believe that it is already yours. Start owning and being the energy of what you want to receive. So connect with the highest form of love by realizing that your body is a temple and your heart is the most powerful source of life. Nothing is accomplished or impossible when you love and are fully supported in your beingness and learn the separation. The suppression and the taboo that has been conditioned in you to disconnect you from love and turn you into a slave of the matrix. You came here to live, love, breathe, love, play and experience life totally. So my child know that. The person you are dealing with seems to have a lot of responsibilities on their shoulder. Work for them is their main priority. They have been struggling to accomplish basic goal and they seem to be someone who is a workaholic, dedicated and focused on their work. It can also be a form of escapism addiction as it helps them avoid thinking about you, yet at the same time they could also be checking you out. And if you guys are already in communication, they want to explore this connection further with you and they love to talk and get to know you more. So if you are not in contact then they are stalking you somewhere, it is a possibility you know them through work. So this person could also be focused on looking out for new job, career opportunities that is what they are currently busy with although they are busy. But they realize they have not felt such deep connection with anybody before like how they feel for you. They know it's a past life love or a deep bond because of the way you affect them. They are manifesting you in their life by constantly thinking about you and even see a future with you. So my child know that. I hope you go all in on yourself. I hope you listen to that quiet voice within, to the soft nudges, to the whisper of your intuition, to that thing deep inside you that just knows. I hope you trust your inner knowing and honor what feels right even when it scares you and when the voice of fear asks. But what if it does not work out? I hope you listen to the voice of belief that responds. But what if it does? I hope a whisper of courage rises like a phonics from the ashes of everything 
that could have broken you but did not that it reminds you that actually your spirit is irrepressible that actually you are brave and capable and so incredibly strong that actually everything you need to follow your heart lead path already exists within you and i hope you say yes to your dreams and vision i hope you treat them like they are the most real most honest and trust things that exist i hope you claim them that you know deep down within that they already belong to you and i hope you stay true to yourself above everything else so i hope you choose yourself every single day i hope you never turn your back on your own beating heart our lives are not determined by what happens to us but by how we react to what happen not by what life brings to us but by the attitude we bring to life a positive attitude cause a chain reaction of positive thought events and outcomes and it is the spark that ignites a fire leading to extraordinary results own your reactions and own your attitude so you can be with someone every day and still not know who they really are until you are put in a situation where hard decision has to be made So time does not define where you stand in a person's life circumstances do it is during the rough time of your life that you will get to see the true colors of people So my child know that I know people sometimes say goodbye before they barely even say hello and i know that you get disappointed in people you thought would never let you down i know you question why bad things happen to good people and why we get hurt broken by someone we only wanted to love so why we feel that our kindness is locking us up when the wit are running free so i know that sometimes life does not make sense but i know that everything that is confusing you is also changing you so everything that is hurting you is also healing you and everything that is burdening you is also teaching you how to carry yourself so i like to think that for every bad things that happen something good will find its way to you because life is not mean to add up it is not mean to have a final answer and it is not mean to be all figure out life is not mean to go one way or the other it is not mean to be black or white it will always confuse us and take us by surprise it will always ambush us with situations we were not prepared for so it may sometimes be too much to handle and sometimes too beautiful to forget sometimes it is going to be on our side and everything will align perfectly and sometimes it will include us so it will fool us it will play the rough tricks on us but i like to think that we also know how to adapt we know how to change grow and evolve so we can keep up with life we know how to fall down then stand back up we know how to fail then start over 
we know how to bounce back from the hardest setbacks we know how to survive life can be more powerful than us we still know how to win we know how to battle and we know how to fight back so maybe we just need to slow down stop running stop chasing stop trying too hard and stop choosing to suffer because of what others put us through or what life did to us so maybe we should stop trying to give life a number or a timeline or an ex- pyration date and just enjoy the lesson enjoy the ride and reveal in the journey you deserve to wake up with the love of your life by your side on a lazy sunday morning as the sun cast a yellow light over your face You deserve to catch up with friends over coffee and brunch and share memories and laughter feeling more alive than you have felt in the longest time. So you deserve to plop a kiss on your mom's forehead and cuddle your dad on his soft fluffy sweater sweeps against your cheek. and you deserve adventures and days out as well as cozy days in with the people that you care about the most you deserve to tell the people you love that you love them and you deserve to tell them when you need space to you deserve to spend time alone even if it means doing nothing other than watching tv or listening to the radio as you have some me time you deserve a warm long bath and you deserve a cold wintry walk through the park because my love you deserve everything that you told yourself and you did not deserve and so so much more So my child know that God is big enough to fill the heavens and the earth and the enemy is small enough to fit under your feet so don't make the enemy bigger than he is Jesus has defeated hell and death the enemy has been defeated greater is he that is in you than he who is in the world so even though the weapon has been fought against you and it will not prosper determine to give the enemy no ground make what jesus did for you bigger than what they did to you So you are more than and conquer in Christ Jesus. Fear not for your God is with you and fighting for you. So dear souls know that. Take some time out to rest and regenerate. Know what makes you comfortable. Keep the home fires burning. create a peaceful and beautiful home life nourishing the mind body and spirit is important at this time focus on the inner life for our ancestor the heart or home fire was the heart of the home A fire always burn they are ready for warm or cooking the hot fire was stoked carefully and rarely allowed to go out as it was a source of comfort for all and often a place where family and friends would meet
द सिटी टेम्पल ऑफ द गॉडेस विस्टा इन रोम वॉज कंसिडर्ड द सैक्रेड हर्ट ऑफ द सिटी एंड वॉज वेयर द फोकलस और हर्ट वॉज कंटेंड So this was a fire that burned as the sacred heart of the city and its territories a second fire one of protection was also within the temple So Vista temples was one of the only place of worship to be circular in design and was completely covered to protect the holy flame from being snuffed out by the weather so the saying keep the home fire burning was inspired by this practice in rome husbands were often sent away on military duty for years on end however their wives were expected to not just keep the home and often the business running but to faithfully wait to for their husbands until their return vista was the goodness to whom to pray to ensure the family members safe return and keep the fire of love stoked so in this busy times it is important to focus on a place where you can feel safe and comfortable while many of us don't have a literal heart the home whatever that is should be a place created to inspire peace and nourishment tps if you have faith and trust in god and if you want your all wishes comes through type amen